Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation, and welcome to The Hive. In this gadget review video, we're going to be talking about my Garaget Garage door opener and how to set it up in Home Assistant. So let's get started. Now I've had the Garage at Garage door opener for about two years now and it's been pretty solid. I've had issues with it in the past, but it does what it's supposed to do and does it quite well. The Garage at is 99 US dollars on the Garage at website, but can sometimes be found on sale for $79 and it shipped in about two weeks. The unit's pretty small and it's powered by micro USB and it comes with a connection cable to hook the button connection on your garage door controller. There is a limitation with this controller that it will only work with tilt panel garage doors. So that is something that you might need to bear in mind. There's other garage door openers that may be more suitable if you have a roller type door or just a full tilt door. The native garage app is pretty basic, but to be honest with you, it has no business being complex. It's a garage door opener. And to be honest, once you've integrated into Home Assistant, we're probably not going to touch the native app very often anyway. The Garage it has a laser mechanism and that fires at a little reflector that you stick onto your garage door. It's a retro reflector and that fires the laser and then the uh, unit detects that laser and it'll tell you whether or not the door is open or closed. I have a backup in a Xiaomi a door contact sensor as well that tells me when the garage door is open or closed. One of the things I personally like about the garage it is that it's there's more than one mode of operation. You can set it up to work with the app or you can use MQTT to control the garage. It. The app method of connecting the garage it to home assistant does require access to the cloud, but it then gets to use the native garage it integration with home assistant which works very nicely with HomeKit to then present the garage on your CarPlay home screen when you're near home. The MQTT method doesn't need to talk to the cloud, but I'm yet to find a way to make it talk nicely with HomeKit and then be presented on the CarPlay screen. So enough talk about the device, let's take a look at how to make it work in Home Assistant both ways. So I've already mounted the config share on our Home Assistant interface and I've opened the config folder and we're looking at the configuration.yaml file. Now I've already got the code that I need and I'm going to paste it in here. We need to create the domain of cover and we're then going to get these indented properly underneath cover. Now the interesting thing about cover is it is the same domain that is used for smart blinds and we'll take a look at smart blinds when I can actually get some. The first platform we've created here is Garage and this is the native Garage integration and the second platform is MQTT. Digging around in the Garage we've then got the covers and we've then got first garage and we've then got the device ID and I'm using the secrets function to put in the hashed garage at ID value there. And then we've also got an access token. Now getting the access token can be a little bit challenging. To get that access token, we'll pop over to our browser. I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to go to garageit.com and I'm going to click on this web access link up the top here. And I'm going to sign in with my username and password. Okay, so now that we've signed into the Garage at website, we could just uh, click on the button and open the garage door and uh, I'm recording from my iPad and you'll see that the garage door is starting to open. I'm gonna stop that and then I'm gonna close it again and we'll see it closing. And the iOS app is the same. What we need to do here is we need to actually grab the authentication token. So you need a browser that supports 
the developer tools. Uh, and you can normally access those by hitting F12 on your keyboard. Uh, and if we have a look at the network over here, and if I take a look at any of these uh, responses here on the headers pane, uh, we can then just grab this section after access token equals and copy and paste that. So now that we've got that, I've pasted that already into my uh, secrets file. And then the last thing in here obviously is um, adding the name. Uh, and in this case, I'm just calling it garage it. Now for the MQTT platform, again, we've got a name and I'm just calling this garage door MQTT. We've got a command topic and a state topic. So the command topic is where we're going to publish a change to, um, to tell the garage door what to do. And the state topic is going to listen to that topic to find the status of the garage door opener. We've then got the payload open, which is just simply open, and then the payload close, which is quite simply close. There's an upcoming video about MQTT coming soon, so subscribe now and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on my MQTT explainer video when it's released. So that's pretty much it for the configuration. So I'm going to save the file. We're going to pop back over to Home Assistant, go to configuration, go to server controls, check the configuration, make sure we get configuration valid, and then we can restart Home Assistant Core. This will take a moment to restart and we'll go back to the overview page. And once this restarts, we should have two new entities. Okay, great. So Home Assistant has started back up and now what I want to do is scroll through and find our garage doors. So we've got the garage it and the garage door MQTT. You will notice that they've got different icons. One shows as a garage door and that's because we're using the native garage it integration. And the other just shows as a window blind because it's just using the cover integration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this uh, up button with the garage door. So we'll trigger and open and you'll see on the feed from the iPad that the garage door is now opening. I'll let that finish opening. And now that it's open, we'll pop back over to Home Assistant and I'm going to close it using the Garage it native integration. And you can see it's closing there. So that's the garage at garage door opener. The build quality is great and it works well. I don't love the cloud requirement of the native integration and app, but to be honest, the MQTT option is a really great workaround. There are plenty of other smart garage door options out there, so it is worth doing your research before spending your money. But for the price, this thing's honestly worthwhile. I do hope that this has helped you with your home automation journey. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and make sure you share with your friends. If you wanna see more home automation content like this, please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon so you get a notification when I release new videos. Lastly, if you'd like to support the channel, I've now got a buy me a coffee link in the video description below. All contributions through there go towards creating more and better content for you to enjoy and hopefully help you solve your smart home questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.